the enigmatic and haunting world of Dark Souls 3, there exists a tale of tragic descent and maddening obsession. Today, we venture into the depths of lore surrounding Osiris, the consumed king. Once hailed as a revered figure, Osiris ruled over the prosperous kingdom of Lothric with unmatched brilliance and wisdom. Driven by an insatiable hunger for knowledge, he sought to transcend the limitations of humanity and ascend to a higher realm of existence. Osiris' fixation on dragons, specifically the crossbreed set the scaleless, became a defining aspect of his journey. As the legend of Seth's immortality and sorcery prowess spread, Osiris became consumed by the desire to attain such power for himself. The king immersed himself in the forbidden study of sorceries, plunging deeper into the esoteric secrets of the world. His ambition knew no bounds as he conducted perilous experiments within the confines of his grand library, surrounded by ancient tomes and artifacts. Desperate to obtain the might of dragons, Osiris embarked on a perilous path. He consumed the blood of Seth, imbibing the essence of a dragon. Through this vile act, Osiris was forever transformed, becoming the grotesque and tormented figure known as Osiris, the consumed king. The dragon's blood coursed through his veins, infusing him with immense strength. However, the cost was steep, for Osiris paid with his sanity. As his mind unraveled, he descended into madness, ruling over a deranged kingdom that mirrored his deteriorating mental state. Perhaps the most tragic aspect of Osiris' descent into madness was his delusion regarding his own child, Ocelot. He believed his offspring to be invisible, cradling and speaking to an empty hand, desperately convinced of the presence of his phantom child. But the tale takes an even more sorrowful turn when we explore Osiris' connection to the ethereal power of moonlight. Legends speak of the moonlight's transformative qualities, bestowing beings with extraordinary power and profound insight. Driven by an unyielding obsession, Osiris became fixated on obtaining the legendary Moonlight Greatsword, a weapon of immense power and rich history. This fabled sword, once wielded by the legendary Seth the Scaleless, held the key to unlocking further draconic abilities. In his relentless pursuit of the Moonlight Greatsword, Osiris sought to harness the essence of Moonlight itself. Through a perilous ritual, he merged his own soul with the luminescent energies of the moon, undergoing a terrible transformation into a creature reminiscent of a ferocious dragon. Now consumed by his dual obsessions, the power of dragons and the allure of moonlight, Osiris, the consumed king, became an entity of immense strength and terrifying presence. He wielded his newfound power with ruthless determination, challenging any who dared to stand in his way. The kingdom of Lothric, once a beacon of prosperity, now became a twisted reflection of its fallen ruler. Dark forces plagued its lands, and the citizens suffered under the weight of Osiris' madness. The once great kingdom now lay in ruins, its glory reduced to ash. And so, the legacy of Osiris, the consumed king, endures, casting a long shadow over the land of Lothric. His monstrous form and tragic downfall become the stuff of legends, whispered in hushed tones by those who dare to explore the depths of the kingdom. In the wake of Osiris' reign of madness, Lothric became a land plagued by chaos and despair. The once proud knights of the kingdom turned hollow, their loyalty shattered by the crumbling sanity of their ruler. The very fabric of reality seemed to warp and twist under the weight of Osiris' corrupted presence. In the realm of Dark Souls, the tale of Osiris, the consumed king, serves as a cautionary tale, a haunting reminder that the pursuit of power and the unraveling of one's sanity often go hand in hand. It stands as a testament to the cyclical nature of ambition, the rise and fall of those who dare to defy the boundaries of mortal existence. In the end, Osiris, the consumed king, remains a figure shrouded in sorrow and tragedy. His story serves as a reminder that power, when sought without restraint, can consume even the mightiest of rulers, leaving behind only a fractured shell of what once was. The echoes of his descent into madness continue to reverberate, 
a somber melody in the symphony of dark souls haunting lore.